Welcome back, everyone. It's 1241, and you are watching CG Style. So St. Patrick's Day is right around the corner, and what to do with the leftover corned beef? Now we know. Arancini <laughs> balls. That's the way to go. Michelle Vehar, Thank welcome. You. Hi. Hi. Curian. Hey, girl. Hey. Yeah, so I love Reuben sandwiches, and mm. I also love poppers. Do you remember having poppers? No, what are pop what poppers? Poppers. Like huh? a jalapeno popper? Oh, oh, jalapeno yeah, yeah. poppers okay, with sorry, the jalapeno so stuffed Yummy. with the cream cheese, and okay. then you deep fry them. So this is a little bit of a play on both of them. So I created Arancini Reuben balls. All right. My last name's not Riley for nothing, you know. Oh. So I do have an Irish side. Okay. Half and I didn't half realize mixed. that. Right. Cool, cool. Well, we got the yeah. corned beef. We got all these this awesome. This is the insides of the great ingredients. Yeah, these are the insides of the um, the arancini risotto balls. Okay. So the base is risotto. Then we have corned beef. We have jalapeno. We have Swiss cheese and mozzarella. Mm. And then we're gonna mix that up. You That's mind? you, right? Yeah, you yeah. do it. Okay. You're going to set up right. I just don't want to mess it up too much. You no, know you're going to do a great okay. job. This and then, Teresa, great. this yes. is my homemade Thousand Island dressing. Ooh. We have Greek yogurt and mayonnaise. Anytime you're doing a dressing, you could mm. always substitute some of the mayonnaise sure, for, for Greek, Greek yogurt. yogurt. A little healthier. And it's really delicious. So we have Greek yogurt, mayonnaise, sweet relish, cornichons, those cute little pickles. Uh -huh. Are they <laughs> called gherkins or no? What no are, they're, they're different French. than gherkins? Little French pickles called oh. cornichons. Okay. Okay. Would you like to try a cornichon? <laughs> sure, I like cornichons. Yeah, try a little they're a little cornichon. bit tart, mm. but they're really good. And they make a great those tartar awesome. sauce. So all my tartar <laughs> sauces and my some of my dressings, I use those. They are tart, but they're awesome. They're tart. These are the best. Yeah, they're so good. Mm. And they're very crunchy. Should so I mix that's this? In there. Mix that up, and that's a little bit of ketchup, some sweet grated Vidalia onion. All right. And, um, and some fresh chopped parsley. So once you got that going, then it's we going. take our cookie scoop right here. And we start making the little making balls. The right? balls. Boom. Absolutely. And now, this keeps them all the same size using okay. a cookie scoop. And, oh, okay. and so then once we have the, the balls made, you have to refrigerate them. For how long? Well, just for about an hour or two. Okay. Because you don't want to put um, a warm arancini risotto ball in there because then it'll just spread, spread out into right. the oil. Yeah. Okay. So nice this keeps them a little firm. bit firm and then they get really creamy in the middle. Got it. All right. So we're going to turn this on. This is already going. Um, then we egg them. This is quite the process. It but is I bet quite the awesome. process. I'm, I'm sure they're delicious, but it's worth every step you here. You can do them, um, you know, you can be prepared and do them in, in different steps. Mm -hmm. One day you have the corned beef. That's from St. Patty's Day, right. right? The next day you can make the risotto and have that with dinner because it only right. uses two cups. Okay. And I show you all of these steps on my YouTube show. Traveling at so the So you can go to the YouTube and right. check that out. So we're going to dip them in the egg, then we dip them in the breadcrumbs. The egg kind of makes the breadcrumb stick, is that Yeah, cool? exactly. Right. Gives it that little bit of coating, and then we just drop them right into the oil. Drop it like it's And hot. I don't have a deep frying <laughs> pan here. I just have maybe about three quarters of an inch, half an inch. You don't want to overcrowd that pan because you want them to, um, you don't want it to bring the temperature down. Right. You want to keep it What type of oil do you use to fry typically? I just use a light oil. Mm -hmm. um, I don't use an olive oil. I use like a, a canola oil or vegetable oil, something really light. And then after they're fried, it's just a few minutes on each side. And then That's you pretty flip quick, them over. huh? Isn't that quick? Yeah. Yeah, it's very Easy. quick. Well, and you don't want them in there for a long time because then all the insides will start to ooze out as right. well. And then, do you mind if we try the finished product? Yeah, here? Because I know absolutely. Look at how awesome wonderful they sauce. look. Okay, here we and go. And then the homemade Thousand Island dressing. Should we try and, some? Yeah, absolutely. You don't mind. And then we also have, um, I put corn, um, some horseradish mm. into the Thousand Island uh -oh. because that complements that. That, uh, Michelle, beef, these right? are fantastic. What a Aren't treat. delicious? Yeah, they're very good. What a good idea, too, to get rid of that corned beef. Yeah, absolutely. And then I have some chocolate Guinness cupcakes. <laughs> My dad's really, going to really love really you. Good. My dad's a big Guinness guy. I think he might be in love watching. Right? And then I made some um, whiskey frosting, buttercream frosting oh. to go with it. So those are definitely adult frost um, cupcakes, but those are really delicious as well. So Michelle, thank a little you. bit of planning and you have yourself a great little meal. Lots of green, too. This Lots of green. Good. All right, we'll check you out on YouTube. Thank you so much for being thank here you on so TT Style. Yourself.